It's time for Sunday Brunch here in the Hard Rock Kitchen. And joining us this morning is Mike Bausch with Andalini's Pizzeria. And Mike, thank you for joining us as always. Thank you for having me. Now, before we talk about what you're going to make today, we want to share some big news that you guys had not too long ago. Um, a new restaurant's opening up. Where is that going to be? That's correct. In Jenks, we're going to have uh, our newest Andalini's, our biggest Andalini's ever, full restaurant, bar, uh, private dining room, right on the Riverwalk, part of that new Riverwalk expansion and revitalization we're so proud and so happy to be a part of. And there's a look at the new restaurant. When's going to open for anybody who might want to check it out? We're looking for early Jan uh, January to March of 2017. Okay, so about six months from now, basically. That's, that's the hope. Wow. And why there? Why'd you choose that location? You know, the Riverwalk is a cool idea, but it, it kind of fell on different times, and, and it's been new people have taken over. One fire has taken it over. They came to us, they said, we want something that's going to anchor this site, mm -hmm. and they have been just absolutely fantastic to deal with. So we're all about it right now. We can't wait to be there with Flying Tea and Los Cabos and all these great units. It'll be a good marriage there. Yes. Now, we want to talk obviously about the food you're making. What What is it you're preparing today? This is a Carlucci Strombolicio. So if you've ever had a Stromboli, which is named after the island in, uh, in Italy, the little island off Stromboli, the lighthouse island is Strombolicio. Okay. And so this is a mini Stromboli and being summer and all, it's all very light actually healthy item it's all things considered too, yeah. we have some uh, baby spinach on there super simple super easy okay. if you're making one of these at home which is very doable all you need is a pizza dough which is you know can be lighter than than heavy white bread mm -hmm. so we put in some genoa salami depending on how much or how little meat you want and then this is speck speck is prosciutto that is smoked and we smoke it in-house at andalini's okay so at this point i have all these items i'm going to put in uh, mozzarella Little mozzarella cheese, maybe a little more because that's never hurt anyone no. ever. <laughs> Put as much cheese as you want, yeah. Uh, fresh minced garlic, so we had actual cloves of garlic, and that would be really bitey if I just ate it straight, but mm -hmm. when it goes into an oven, it's gonna really, really calm down. Cook through, yeah. So this is the, the secret here is I'm gonna just pin this on just top. All the two sides basically over. Exactly, yeah. and then I could spread it, make it as wide as I want, and that would be enough to bake with, but I like to get a nice golden Nice. So I'm going to put a little olive oil and on top. Olive oil too. And then what's really nice, if you like that kind of crunchy cheese, you know, slightly, not burnt, but just on the, the cusp of being burnt, put some <laughs> shredded cheese on top, put that into uh, the oven. I cook it at around 550 degrees on a baking sheet. How long though? Uh, you know, every oven will be different, but I would estimate around seven minutes, but just look at it. If it's right around golden, give another minute. Okay. Because it'll take around 10 minutes to 12 minutes to turn bad. So you want it to be on the, on the side of being cooked and fully, uh, fully integrated. This inside an oven, perfect lunch, perfect dinner meal, and also very communal. People can get around it. Definitely. And you can chop it up and, sh and share it with other people too. And that's what we're going to do. 